schematically hitting out of the tower, or did he just hit a – just make a great play? Oh, no, he just made a, a heck of a play. Um, you know, it was, it was defended pretty well. Um, you know, I, we saw the same play last night. You know, it makes a tough one at the end. Um, but, you know, he uh, stepped up, made a big shot late, and they, they, they found a way to make plays um, down the stretch to keep him in the game. You know, I think the third quarter in general um, kind of gave them a little momentum, uh, which you know, a little bit of a concern. But, uh, you know, it's just tough, tough to lose a game like that. Was there anything specific that you saw in the third quarter other than Chicago gaining momentum that you didn't like? Uh, nothing that really stands out to me at this point. I thought, you know, we, we kind of uh, – let go a little bit, kind of relaxed a little bit. I thought we had great momentum um, attacking early. Um, settled for, you know, a couple of long shots, decent ones that just didn't go in. And then um, they kind of got out on the break. We had some turnovers in that third quarter. Um, I think 12 transition points, which was a point of emphasis uh, for us to kind of just keep that to a minimum. They're a very good transition team. Um, so those turnovers, I think, fueled their break a bit. Um, but yeah, it's that's that's a tough one. Yeah, it's a tough way to lose. What did you think about the way Brad played at point guard? It was good. No, he had a you know he had a big game. Uh, he was able to facilitate. Uh, we're asking him to do a lot. He played you know forty two minutes, forty three minutes. Um, so it's tough to have to do it on you know <laughs> facilitate as well as uh, keep guys organized, try to make plays and score. Um, but I, I think he did a terrific job. Daniel, it seemed like you went away from him in the fourth quarter. Um, can you explain that decision? Yeah, it, you know, it was basically, um, I know it's, it's tough that we, we gave up the offensive rebound late, um, but I thought the switching uh, did a better job keeping guys in front, kept us out of rotations. Um, and, and Vucevic is a pretty good pick and pop big. I thought we were getting dragged down the floor a bit, uh, giving up some separation, and, you know, he got some good looks. The, the switches kept that to a minimum. But, you know, then you got to deal with the post-ups and you got to deal with the offensive rebounds. Um, you know, on the flip side, spacing AG uh, moves Vooch around a bit. And you know, I thought that was good for us as well on the offensive end. So um, calculated risk, you know, I think in general that wasn't what hurt us. But um, well, we've done that at times before, you know, moving him either off the five or downsizing and playing small. Uh, I thought the switching was, was decent. Wes, this is the second game in a row. I think you guys have shot at least 50 from the floor. Um, what are you seeing in your offense, not necessarily opponents' defenses that's uh, doing that? Um, just a better rhythm. But, you know, I think also um, we, we've continued to move the ball. We've been attacking a little bit more, getting downhill. I think 70-plus points in the paint, uh, which is an unbelievable number. Um, our aggression, uh, I think, is, is has been good for us. So a lot of it, you know, you're getting layups, you're getting to the paint. Those are high percentage shots, but it also opens up, you know, help situations into, you know, kick threes, which are usually the, ch the shots we want to generate. How do you explain that kind of aggression and type of momentum when you've got one group of guys who's tired and been carrying a lot of minutes and another group who's just coming back? Well, I think it's, you know, they're watching the game, so they see it, but um, just a point of emphasis, you know, stay in attack mode. Uh, that doesn't mean you have to force it, but put pressure on them early. Uh, you know, and see what happens. If, you don't, if we don't like it, you can always get in the offense. But when you get stops, get out and run. Stay in attack mode, get downhill, space correctly, and it usually lends to something positive. How much is Kuz in particular benefiting from that more aggressive kind of The last few games quite a bit. Um, but I think, you know, all of our guys have. Corey has. He's, he's running to the corners. Pope is getting open threes. Um, I think it's been good for our group at, at large. How much of a point of emphasis has it been for, for Kyle to try to attack off the dribble and, and try to go to, to the hoop rather than? I mean, we're not stressing it as, you know, a whole shift in what we're doing. It's just more when we get stops. Let's get out and run. We've seen an uptick in the efficiency. Uh, the pace at which we play has been better, uh, especially after stops. Um, so uh, it's not, it hasn't been like a, a shift as far as what we're running. It's just more of a mindset. Let's get out. Let's fill our spots. Let's attack early in the clock um, and see what, you know, unfolds. If there's an advantage, go take it. Denny uh, fouled out. It seemed like DeRozan caught him a few times uh, on the arm. What can he learn from that kind of trick that DeRozan has to be better next time? I just, um, 
you know, understanding who he is and, and how he plays and what, what he's trying to get. He, he's very crafty, um, you know, sweep through moves and, and showing the ball. Um, and for young players, just you have to have, a, you know, the discipline. And at times it's, t- it's hard because those are tough calls. But uh, it's a judgment call. And he, he gets those calls nightly. So it's not just us, um, you know, over-exaggerate, you know, your, your body position. You know, do your work early, uh, show your hands early. So, you know, maybe you give, give yourself a chance to at least um, defend at the apex of the shot and not, you know, get him late. We got him up, up top quite a bit. Found jump shot, jump shooters is never a good thing. Um, especially a guy like that, he was going to, you know, shot fake you and get you lifted. Um, he lives at the line. So hopefully it's a, you know, a teaching moment and he, he'll be better for it. I know the Bulls are number one in, in three point percentage, but kind of what, what led to them having such a big night in three? Oh man, they a lot of tough shots in, in my opinion. Um, I don't think the vast majority were schematically. Some were in transition, um, and then uh, their guys made tough pull ups, which they do. I mean, that's that's part of uh, Levine's game. That's that's part of Kobe White's game. Um, so we just have to be aware of that. And you know, Booch picking and popping. We, we talked about all those things. So it's just being more in tune and have a little bit more urgency to get to those guys. As painful as a loss like this is, how long does it take to, to get over something like this? At, at... Well, hopefully, you know, it's short lived. I mean, we got to learn from it and um, you know, it's, it's never fun to have to watch a game like that over, but um, you know, there, there's something in there we can take from it and hopefully, uh, you know, be better next time. These last two games, you run uh, very short rotations. Maybe it's an obvious answer why, um, you know, with the replacement players and all that. It's part of it because you guys aren't practicing. You feel like you can kind of rely on this. Uh, I mean, that's part of it. I mean, and also it's you know, guys that we've had in the fold, know what we're doing. We're organized to, to a degree. It's tough even with the group we have. We're playing out of position at times. Um, we have to use those guys, you know, when we need them. But, you know, when the game gets tight, you, you're going to go with what you know. And, you know, a lot of times it's it's guys who you've been through a few battles with and they're tested. So, you know, you're going to lean on them. Neil. Hey, Coach. Even when you had Gaff in the game, um, at times it seemed that Kuzma was guarding Vucevic. Was that the plan or what was the thought process there? That was, that was the plan. Uh, and once again, we were switching. So, you know, obviously you got to – be mindful of his post-ups, gives you a little bit of size. Kuz has done, you know, a decent job. He had to guard, you know, Carl Anthony Towns. And, um, you know, it, it's, it's tough because Vuce is a really good post player. But we're trying to take, the, take away the advantage in pick and rolls. Um, the advantage for Levine, uh, advantage for DeRozan. So being able to switch, um, keep size in, on size and keep a bigger body maybe on, on uh, DeRozan once we made our switches. I thought that was the, kind of the thought process behind it. Um, but, you know, I think uh, both those guys, Denny, Kuz, um, you know, even Pope, everyone got a crack at it. And it, it's, it's a tough, tough cover. Rafael. Hey, coach. Hope you're well. Um, tonight, Bradley Beal had a career high on assist. How would you say the, how would you translate um, Bradley's Beal playmaking into the team's offense? Well, I think it's a natural fit. Um, you know, he's, you know, been known as a scorer and he's capable of doing that. Um, but he's also going to make the right read. You know, we, we, we put the ball in his hands quite a bit. Even, you know, if he's not orchestrating the, the offense from the onset, the ball is usually coming to him. So, you know, he's going to make the right read. He's going to see what's open. He's going to, you know, he's unselfish. So I give him credit, you know, to, to stay with it, to trust guys. Uh, to get off of it in a timely manner, set guys up. It generates a lot of offense for everyone. How, how do you describe this game and the way it ended? I mean, it was a hell of a fight. You know, we did a great job. Um, we had people out. They had people out. Uh, we fought all night. Yeah, we did. You know, we played a hell of a game. Hell of a game. You know, couldn't be prouder of everybody that played. Um, you know, Brad hit me on a play and I hit a three. And then, I mean, shit happens. You know, DeMar told me to hold my beer. So <laughs> it happens. He's a great player, um, made a hell of a shot. So what's been working well for you lately? I think it's three straight games for 20 points, 20 plus points. 
Uh, I think I'm just, uh, just, you know, flip my mentality, um, you know, just looking for my shot more, but, uh, also just getting to the rim, um, uh, and not settling, you know, um, when guys are back, um, at a full team, I'm kind of more of a, a spot up corner type of player. I mean, cause you know, that's just the dynamics of our team, but, um, you know, just looking for my shot, you know, getting a rebound going and, um, you know, just putting pressure on the rim at all times is what I'm trying to do. So, Kuz, um, what do you attribute the ball movement of the past couple games to the second straight game where you guys shot at least 50 from the floor? Oh, I mean, we did a great job. Everybody's just sharing the ball. Um, you know, everybody's getting off of it. If you have a play for yourself, then, you know, everyone's taking it. But if not, you're getting off the ball and just find an open man. Um, you know, I think we've done a great job with our pace offensively. Um, you know, get down the court and, uh, you know, playing defense too. And, um, you know, we were playing a real fun brand of basketball the past couple of games. Where's the balance in the fourth quarter of them kind of upping their offense and you guys maybe easing off defense, if that's how you saw it? I mean, we weren't really easing off defense. I mean, <clears throat> they got two players that made plays every single time down the floor uh, with Zach and DeMar. Um, I mean, you know, obviously a couple calls, whatever, but those guys made tough shots and, um, you know, the game of the basketball is, you know, good D, better O, um, you know, that's just how the game's always been. DeMar making clutch shots, not even just a three, just down the stretch, all fourth. Um, Zach making tough step back shots. Um, you know, you just tip your hat. You know, I thought for the most part, we played great D, so. How good of a fight was this for you guys in terms of, they're leading the Eastern Conference down the line. You're going to see Zach and Damar and guys like them again, uh, just in terms of preparation, in terms of like, okay, we, we know we can kind of stay toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. I mean, we believe that we can stay toe-to-toe -to -toe with everybody. Um, you know, it's just for us, you know, eliminating mental mistakes. Um, and we, had, we had a few mistakes down the stretch and throughout the whole game. But, you know, I believe that we're a confident group and, you know, with the, the way the NBA is, we have guys, you know, dynamic guys that can get down the court, get downhill, and make plays for each other. Uh, you know, it's just a matter of us putting it all, to go, all you know, together. But, um, yeah. yeah. Kyle, I'm not suggesting this was a moral victory at all, but was there anything you guys can take from a game like this that could make you all better in the weeks and months ahead? Yeah, I mean uh, – Ball movement, ball movement was great. Um, you know, the ball wasn't sticking. Um, you know, we did a great job defensively. Uh, I thought um, Anthony Gill came in the game and he did a hell of a job. You know, he's a guy that doesn't doesn't never play for us, but uh, him coming in and coach making the decision. You know, even Gav had a phenomenal game, um, nineteen eight whatever he had, and um, you know. <laughs> put Gill in, you know, just, you know, how, just how the game was and uh, being able to switch one through five and him, you know, making some big time plays throughout the game was huge for us. But, um, I mean, you, you can always take something from every game. You could take, you know, something from a loss. You could take things from win. So, um, you know, I think we did a good job, you know, just building every single game that we played the past three games or whatnot of just ball movement and, getting that defensive mindset back so you met, you mentioned the dynamics of the team's offense about you often spotting up when the full group is here but when everyone does come back can you incorporate some of this attacking style into your game as well do you have that freedom uh, I mean I hope so uh, I mean uh, it has to be in the diaphragms of how the team is you know you know when you look at the team you know um, when guys are out, I have the ability to you know, touch the ball a little bit more um, and not stand in the corner and be just kind of a shooter. But, um, yeah, and it's something I, I got to figure out uh, within myself, um, you know, watching film and um, just being in attack mode at all times. So, um, hopefully I can still do it. How about um, four out of the last five games? I think you have double digits uh, rebounds. Is that also a mentality thing or is it an opportunity thing? No, I mean, it's not an opportunity. I've been mean, getting double-digit rebounds all, get, all, all year. Um, you know, I had a little stint where, um, you know, I didn't. 
And, um, you know, just, just trying to play hard. That's my game. You know, when I'm rebounding, I'm into the game. Um, you know, I said from the beginning of the year, when I'm playing defense and rebounding, that's all I'm really trying to focus on. And um, when I'm focused on those two, offense usually just comes. So. Neil. Hey, Kuz, uh, just to double check, uh, DeMar didn't actually say, hold my beer to you, did he? No, I mean, he didn't say it, but I mean, uh, I mean, pretty much damn near said it, you know, hitting the damn three, so. Yep, fair enough. Um, yeah. Obviously, you know, not the result you guys wanted, but when you did hit your shot and just, you know, Capital One Arena, you know, going crazy, just how much do you feel like the organization's fan base has accepted you in such a short time? Um. Yeah, man, it's been, it's been honestly great. Um. You know, D.C. fans have been great to me uh, ever since I got here, um, you know, and it's, you know, me coming in just trying to play as hard as possible. And I think that um, the fans will gravitate to that. And I really appreciate it, um, you know, especially coming here. You know, I had, you know, I'm a very polarizing person. So, um, you know, you either love me and hate or, or hate me. And, you know, I'm just glad that, you know, coming here, um, have an opportunity to have a, you know, a fresh slate and, um, you know, the fans here really accept me. I really appreciate it. Honestly. I believe in six games decided by three points or fewer. This is the first one you guys have lost. Mm. What do you take away from this one? Uh, first praise my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Um, this, is, this one was tough. It was, I had just seen coach West on the way out. Like he was just, you know, just like, like, just like couldn't believe. And it's just like, that's how we all feel, man. It was, we play really hard. Um, granted, there's no moral victories at all. Uh, but we played hard. We competed. And damn, DeMar, man, he made a tough one at the end. He made a tough one. So you just do not tip your hat off to him. He's, him and Zach, they've been playing all NBA MVP type basketball all year. So uh, we tried to make it tough as, as we possibly could on him. We, we were in there. We made runs. Uh, every Both teams are beat up. Guys out. Um, but I think we did a good job holding our own. They just... It made a player two more than us down the stretch. So what do you attribute the ball movement the past two games? Uh, I don't know. I think it's uh, one. I think our pace has a lot to do with it. Um, and obviously, I've I've had to play point the last two games. So I'm, I'm I'm starting with the ball a little bit more, and uh, that's kind of allowing me to be aggressive early in the clock. And then at the same time, it's allowing me to be able to get guys open shots because they're going to collapse the defense um, pretty much every time I, I attack. So um, for me, it's just finding guys that are open, like not forcing the tough shots over two guys and over longer defenders, um, you know, just finding my shooters. You know, they're doing a great job of just being ready to shoot, knocking them down. We didn't hit them in the second half, but we got the same shots we did in the first half which when we hit them. What have you thought about uh, the way Kyle Kuzma's played these last few games? I love his confidence. I mean, Kuz is confident as is, but once he's going, like, it, it, it takes him to a new level. You know, I don't even think he realizes the type of player he can be. Um, you know, I think he's still growing. He's still – there's a, another level he can tap into, and I think there's a, another – player inside of him, if that makes sense. Like, I think he can really be really good at what he – what he what he can do on the floor and, and what he can contribute. You know, he's not afraid of the big moments. Like I said, him and Pope, they have winning experience. Um, so, you know, he has all of those intangibles now. I mean, he's just he's just confident. You know, he's going to have a tough mismatch almost every game. He's 6'9", so he plays a three and a four for us. So a lot of his mismatches are going to be bigs who probably can't move as quick as him or guards who are a little bit smaller than him. So he takes advantage of those matchups, you know, and, and I try to exploit them and try to get him to stay aggressive, stay aggressive. And uh, especially in transition, because once he gets a rebound, we're pushing. Like, he's he's flying. So uh, we just need him to continue to stay aggressive, continue to make the right play. I know you've played point guard before, but this is the first time you've started at point guard in the NBA, right? <laughs> Can you remember Maybe. the last time you started at point guard? Yeah, no, I can't. I can't. I can't. No, 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 no. Uh, and it was, it was definitely uh, – a little mind blown with the way the league is. Everybody's, I mean, with Brad going down, it's like, dang, you know, he only, it's tough, tough break for him because uh, he had a great game and um, it's only one game he was in protocol, you know, so that's tough. Um, but 
I mean, I knew I knew what tonight was going to be. You know, it was. I mean, I had to run a show. I had to understand. I had to get guys shots. And like I said before, it's been kind of that balance of trying to figure it out. You know, what to when to be aggressive, when to get guys shots. But when you're playing a point, you got to run a team. You got to get guys in offense. You got to get guys in position. You got to get guys shots. You got to be aggressive. You know, you got to talk. You got to you got to be engaged. You got to encourage. Like your point, you're the head of the snake at all times. And so, uh, it was fun. It was fun. I enjoyed it. Um, it was, it was definitely a lot that I can learn from that. And, uh, if it happens again, I'll be ready even more. As you said, no moral victories, but what can you guys take from a game like this? Once the team is back at full strength, full speed that can help you and the team or help the team in the weeks ahead. Uh, we gotta be better at closing out. Uh, I think there was a few possessions down the stretch in which we, Defensively, we could have been better. We didn't communicate. We didn't talk, you know. And I think in those moments, we got to be a lot better, especially against a team like this. This is a team that can, that can make a run this year, you know, against Chicago game. So we we got to make sure every time we we're on the floor, you know, we're we're closing out these games. But you know, it's a good feeling, kind of, of knowing that you know, games under three, we've you know, this is our first loss. But um, you know, at the same time, you know, we we could have won this game. We feel like we should have won this game. But uh, I think just a couple more plays down the stretch. Uh, like Pope's Pope got the turnover. I mean, got the steal on Zach. We didn't get the turnover. Uh, the offensive rebound with Vucevic with the N one that hurt. Uh, Zach's threes down the stretch, and Demar a couple fouls down the stretch. So it was a lot of things we could have eliminated and been better at. Uh, so I think that's what we can learn more than anything. But uh, also the positive positive side of it is just knowing that this is who we can be as a team. Like we're not even full strength, but we if we just compete hard and play hard, you know, we can be in every game. You know, so it's just a matter of our mentality every single night we touch the floor. Wes didn't seem like totally despondent. We're not suggest I'm not suggesting that, but when you saw him, was this is maybe down after a loss that you've seen him this year or no? Uh, I wouldn't say down. Uh he was a little bit that he was really like this one hurt. Like mm -hmm. and, and it definitely did. I mean, whenever you lose our game winner, I mean we were up two. You know, we made a Kuz made a big shot, you know, to put us up. And we've just made some tough players down the stretch to get us in that position. Uh, and it's tough, man. I mean, that's what Debo made a one legger the night before, you know. So uh, you know, that's what he does. He makes take he takes tough shots and makes tough, tough, tough shots. Him and Zach, you know. So, you know, coach, you know, he's he's gonna be hard on himself and we all are, but you know, we uh we lost this together. We win together, we lose together. Um, there's no person's fault more than the next man, you know. So We'll be better. We see them again in a few days too. So we know they'll be even more energetic and revitalized. So we gotta gotta be ready to go again. You mentioned playing the point. Um, there are things you can learn from it. Um, what are some immediate takeaways that you could apply in that kind of rematch? Uh, us so they're two different positions and uh and kind of the way we run our our offense in our system and granted every a lot of things are interchangeable so i'm able to just somewhat do some of the same things at the two but uh realizing that like you have to get your teammates involved like a lot of kick ahead a lot of push like a lot of your teammates to push a lot of your teammates to make plays um versus me and uh and i think just the the encouraging the encouragement and that leadership part of it as a, as a point guard of just keeping your teammates engaged, keeping them involved, you know, keeping them enthused, making sure we're having fun. I think all those things are important uh, and, they're, and they're, they're keys, you know, to helping your team win. So I'm definitely, I guess it's a lot that I can take from it for sure. You know, getting guys organized better, pushing better, um, what plays to call, what plays do guys like, don't like, you know, what, where can I get Pope a good shot? Where can Kuz get the ball going downhill? Uh, just figuring out, you know, trying to manipulate the game, you know, so it's it's a different thought process, but uh, I think I, I know the majority of the offense, so it's 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 not, it wasn't too hard to, to play the position or not. What was that? Neil. Hey, Brad, if you can think back to an hour ago, what were your immediate first thoughts when first Kuz hits his shot and then DeMar hits his? Well, it was, it was crazy in the huddle. Um, I think we got a great shot, and Kuz missed it at the top of the key. They came down, and DeMar got the foul. We had the timeout, and literally, somebody said, Kuz is coming back to you. 
And I was like, I, and they just, they kept saying, like, who's is coming back to you? Who's is coming back to you? I was like, like, it just sat in the back of my head. I didn't, didn't think too much of it, but I was just, you know, I heard it. And then, sure enough, coach drew up the play, and it was a play to try to get them to switch, cause some confusion, but they loaded up crazy once I, I tried to reject it. And, and uh, Kuz kind of gave me, like, a little bird call uh, on the floor, and it was just a, oh, damn, you're open. And it just, you know, who's ever open is going to get the shot. So, uh, you know, they collapsed the gap, and Kuz is ready to go. You know, he's ready to knock it down, and he did, so. Uh, it was a great play, great shot by Kuz. It's just tough we didn't if you don't get the you don't get the reward on that. That's, that sucks. And then uh non-game question, I guess one, are you into New Year's resolutions at all? And if so, do you have any for yourself that you're willing to share? Uh good question. Uh me personally, no, because I feel like if you're gonna change, you can change at any point of your life. Don't wait till New Year's to do it. Um uh, but uh, if I would have to do anything or, or pick some of my resolution for this year is patience, being more patient. Um, being patient in life, you know, understanding what you're in control of, what you're not in control of, uh, stay in the moment, enjoy the moment, and uh, let life take its course, you know, be patient with everything. Thanks, Brad. Happy New Year to you and the family. Oh, man, Happy New Year, Neil. Christos. Hey Brad, happy new year, first of all. Um, tough losses like these, how how important for you guys is to use it like a fuel for the next games? Uh, happy new year, first off. Uh, but for us, it's, it's, it's always gonna be tough, man. I mean, every loss is tough. Uh, we don't like losing. Um, I don't think anybody enjoys that, but these, these in particular, you know, you can't, you can harp on them, but it's like we did everything, you know. We did everything we can, we could possibly did to win. And Debo just made a crazy shot at the end of the game, you know. So it's uh, in a way, the shot is demoralizing. You know, it kind of takes the energy out of you. But um, to know that we, I mean, it's the moral side of it, to know that we competed and played hard and did everything we set ourselves up to win, you know, that you feel great about that, you know, and you can continue to build off of that. You have to build off of that. You can't. Can't keep the negative thoughts, you know, and the loss in your head. Um, you know, we just got to move forward. Understand we got we Charlotte next, which is another, you know, they're kind of our Achilles heel the last few years, you know. So we got to make sure we're ready to go because uh, it's another young, hungry, athletic, scoring team uh, that's going to get after it. So, you know, we got to – and it's my job to do that as a leader, making sure that we're ready to go and engage. And as a leader that you mentioned before, how important is to see players like Anthony Gill, Tremon Waiters, who signed a 10 day contract, Danny Avdia came off the bench. How important is to see those players uh, made a step up on the floor on both ends? Well, we need everybody. You know, I, I say it every single night before we step onto the floor. You know, uh, we have 12, 15 guys. You know, we have a lot of new faces, new, new bodies. Uh, we're not going to win this with one man. You know, so when your name is called, be ready. You know, because this is a lot of guys are getting an opportunity right now on 10 days, you know, on exhibit 10s and they're having an opportunity right now, you know, uh, that they probably, you know, not going to what they probably wouldn't have had in the past. You know, if we weren't in COVID, maybe some of these guys wouldn't have these opportunities, you know, so uh, just a constant reminder, you know, to the younger guys and the guys we signed, you know, to you know take advantage of it, you know, understand that you are in a position to where you can make a name for yourself to plan for us. There's 29 other teams watching you too. You know, I mean, we've seen that time and time again. Uh, but, you know, Denny is coming into his own. He's becoming more confident. Uh, you know, coaches beginning, you know, to trust him more and more, you know, especially with the ball to be able to make plays. Uh, and then he's getting better. You know, once you be able to show that, you know, you can play consistently. Um, and then he takes the challenge on the defensive end. He's one of our best defenders. Uh, it, it helps us, you know, and it helps him. You know, it's something I told him at the beginning of the year. You know, he everything is going to be, a challenge for you, you know, everything is going to be, it's going to be highs, it's going to be lows, but you're going to need them all, you know, and he's embraced every single moment that he's been through uh, and he's coming into his own, you know, the game is slowing down for him and it's just going to continue to do that.